disclaimer i'm no hairstylist like i said i'm no hairstylist child i just learn as i go Welcome back to my channel. So mommy doodles for today are somewhat at a pause right now because she's taking a nap. She's taking her nap. Let her take her nap, child. Don't bother. Anywho, I'm about to go ahead and construct this wig. What I'm going to do first is I'm gonna go ahead and get this frontal together. I'm gonna go ahead and sew our frontal down. But I wanna make sure I have my things in the front. To make sure it's right, your frontal should form an M shape like so. And then you could just go ahead and pin down the rest. Make sure you pin down the back first and then you could pin down the rest however you want. This is a 13 by 16. Frontal. and I think I already told you guys this is from um Lene Boutique if you know you know all right guys so here we are the wig is constructed she thick I think I added maybe three and a half bundles maybe four maybe I love a thick wig I love a thick wig you do so much more with a thicker wig so yeah so the wig is constructed. I really, I did really good constructing this wig, y'all. I took my time. I ain't rushed through it. So yeah, I'm proud of myself with this wig. Wig is like slick pre-plugged, but I do need to plug it some more. And I also want to take my time with that to not over plug it. Oh, y'all love this hair. Oh, and the bundles are old bundles. These are the bundles that I had in from the baby shower. It's always best to plug on wet hair because you get a more realistic look. And you'll always see when you about to overflow. All you wanna do is gas me. How we end up in the backseat. She's trying to get to the bag. On the same page, you the same way. Only keep the family around me. So let me know what it's gonna be. I don't plan on getting no sleep. Why we doing nothing? Move it too fast. Candy paint with the windows all black. Seats crème brûlée. What they gon' say? Put the top down, screaming money in it. We up till six in the morning. When the sunrise. This is why I say make sure your hair is drenched when you're plucking because you'll see when you're, if you're like over pluck, like right now I look like I over pluck, but every time it's like this and I think I'm like, damn, I don't fuck this thing out and over pluck, but once it dry, it's like, 
Hey, I could pluck some more. All right, y'all. So, I know it like a, it's a little over pluck right there, but it ain't completely dry yet. We're going to get into that. And then, we're just getting to it when we melt it down. Y'all see the difference. But you see on the side, the side look good. Let's see. Yeah, so I just did a part down the middle. So when I put the highlights in, <clears throat> I can like have an even slate to work with. Okay, you see that? So you guys, this is the closure wig that I told you guys I hate it. So I'm just cutting it into a bang just to make it look somewhat different and I could wear it more often. I'm also going to add some like brown highlights to this wig. Um, so keep watching to see how those highlights come out. I think I like this wig better with a bang. Hmm, I don't know. It's, it's I like have a love hate relationship with it. Like I like it, but then I don't like it. But then again, in this style right here, it was like still feel like it need to be washed really bad so we'll see how i like it with the um highlights All right, y'all. So the red wig is pretty much done. I don't want to over pluck it like the last one, but I do feel like it need to be plucked some more. So this wig is done and plucked and ready. All the wigs are done. I just also, this is the wig that I made. The plucking. But I told you guys I thought I overplugged, but once it dry, it looks like <laughs> it like it's plucked to the gods. So don't worry about if it looks overplugged while you're still plucking while the hairline is wet. How it looks. Wow. Oh baby, that's whole I'm just going in with my scissors and I'm just cutting some layers. Cause baby, everybody knows a wig always slay better when you have some layers. Now it's time to bleach all the knots on all six wigs as well as add highlights to some of the wigs. Um, and then I'm just using some neutralizing shampoo and purple shampoo to tone and get the brassiness out of the wigs. All right guys, so now we are working on a blonde wig. This is the last and final wig. I have all my other wigs, knots are getting bleached and these two are conditioning. Um, but right now I am going in with the this is dark and lovely, but it's like brown something. I threw the box in the, round, in the trash. I really was supposed to get brown sugar, but they didn't have it, so I just got the next brown one that they had. If you have a blonde wig and you want to dye your roots, I suggest that you use a, um, a edge brush like I'm using. Oh my God, it works wonders and it's easy to move and all the product doesn't drip down. Using like one of those pink brushes like you use for um, bitching your, just your bundles or whatever, it doesn't work. It gets way too messy and it goes, and it drips down. The smaller the brush, the better. 
Okay guys, so I went ahead and I like dyed the roots to this wig because ain't nobody want no Barbie blonde wig y'all. Five more to go. <laughs> but I want to show y'all the hairline while it's dry. Y'all see how that looks? Mm. Mm, so good. Like, look at that. Plucked to perfection. Like I said, I'm no hairstylist, child. I just learn as I go. So, y'all. This is how the blonde is coming out. I just styled it to have like a bang. Like, let's see. A bang like this. And I'm kind of feeling the bang. Like if I cut out this, I'm just like go. Fuck it, I think I'm good. Yeah, I feel like my, like itching to cut the bang now. But something is telling me to wait to try it on and see if I like it with a middle part. Cause I might. Like 
look how cute this came out. I cut it into a shorter bob. Huh? We are going in the car, baby. With a side part. We'll see how it look when it's on.